Hey everybody, so welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be doing a unboxing of the Pettivore. What month is it? September. September beauty box from Pettivore. <laughs> so, um, I, if you haven't seen my other Pettivore boxes, I will link my subscription box playlist below. I also just did a um, like a recap haul of, or not a haul, a recap review of previous boxes, like things I got in them that I thought were, you know, I had an opinion on. Some things that I've gotten that I didn't really have an opinion on, so I didn't really talk about those. But if you're interested in that, go check it out, and let's get started with this month. So the first thing in here is the Andalou Naturals Kukui Cocoa Body Butter. So here's what that looks like. I have not tried anything from Andalou Naturals. I'm interested in their stuff, though. They they supposedly have really good skincare, so I am interested in trying them. They're a little pricey, but you know, mostly um, cruelty free skincare is, sadly. So, this one I did try yesterday. It. I used to like hate cocoa butter. Or, no, wait, wait, wait. Not cocoa butter. Shea butter. I hated shea butter, but that's not what this is. This is cocoa butter. My brain is confused. So, um, this has cocoa butter in it, and it smells like a really... Like a diluted, um, hot chocolate, which is nice, I guess. And it does sink in really fast, which is great. I hate it when I, like, have on lotion, and I'm trying to do stuff, and I'm getting lotion everywhere. So... I'm excited about this. I'll probably use this up pretty quickly because I actually like it. I have some lotions that I don't really like. And the next thing is this Alvarum bath oil. It's in this little, it's a glass jar bottle thingy. And it smells really good. You can smell this from the outside of the box. It's got like the herbally scent. It says, Alvarum True Oil is a unique and luxurious aromatic blend of 10 essential oils. With just a few drops in your bath, these carefully chosen extracts combine to help ease stress and relax tension in both mind and body, bringing you back to your complete and natural self. So I don't take baths because, um, probably TMI, but my bathtub, like the porcelain's coming up, so... Not, no, <laughs> but it says you can use this also as like in the shower. So maybe I'll try that. It says this is enough for three baths in this thing. So, so you don't need that much at all. I'm gonna keep it in the box because I'm, I'm always afraid that oils are gonna leak. I don't know. And then these are the cutest things I've ever seen. These are the tiniest little shampoo and conditioner bottles I've ever seen. <laughs> There are the, ev oh, I don't even know how to say that. Here, you read it. Evolve? Ev ev I, don't know. I don't know where the H comes in there. But these are the Ultra Shine Moisture Conditioner and Shampoo or shampoo Conditioner. And, yeah. There's not really room for them to have much about these. <laughs> so I'm curious to give these a try. I'll probably take them with me on next next week. Yeah, I'm going with my dad and my stepmom and uh, brother and sister to my grandparents house in their camper. So um, yeah, I'll take these. They're plenty big enough for probably just the one shower I'll take while I'm there. And yeah, curious to try new shampoos and conditioners because I have been using the Pacifica one, but I don't really notice any difference with it. But I also am trying the Paul Mitchell color protector, which I really like. So I'm curious to see what these do, which not that this is enough to really formulate an opinion about it either. So I don't know. And the last thing in here, which I was super excited about is the Axiology natural lip crayons. I wanted to try Axiology for a long time. They are very expensive and, um, I love this box they have it in. This is a really unique, like, no, I don't think many other brands have like a triangle shaped box and this looks like it is all like recycled paper because it's the way that the, the cardboard looks. So it's 100% recycled paper handmade by women artisans in Bali, Axiology tributes to animal welfare, animal welfare organizations, which is fabulous. And this all has completely like, um, what do you call it? Like these are wild harvested and like natural ingredients. So it's pretty awesome. Is this supposed to have stuff on the packaging? I 
Oh, it's supposed to be solid, like solid, like gold color. Oh, there's little black spots. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. But um, here is the outside of the tube. And this is in the shade Bliss. It has it and has the color on there too, if you can even see that because it's bright. But this is not my color. I mean, I, it's kind of similar to what I've got on now. This is Bel Air from Ofra. But this is a shimmery. Excuse the other swatches I did in the video before this, but oh, it doesn't really look that shimmery once I once it's on. I mean, it's kind of got a sheen to it, but it's not like glitter. I just really don't like glittery lip products. So I mean, yeah, I mean it's pretty similar. Like I don't know why I said that it's not a color for me because it's like almost the same as what I've got on. It's just a cream form instead of a liquid. And it smells really good. It smells like orangey. So I'm curious to give that a try. And I'm glad it was in this box because I wanted to try their stuff for a while. So that was it for this unboxing. Let me know what you think if you subscribe to the box. Um, I haven't seen anybody else's videos yet because I like just got my box yesterday. So hopefully maybe other people are going to start to get theirs. But I'm curious to see what shade other people got. Because I'm thinking that I get like orangey shades because that's what I filled out like I wanted warm shades of lipstick so many people get that because when we got the juice beauty blush I was like the only person that I saw that got an orange one so I don't know maybe I'll change my preferences and see if I stop getting like orange stuff but I mean I'm not mad about it it's just you know so yeah let me know what you think and subscribe to some future videos also i'll leave a link to petty vor below if you're interested i always do that but i don't know if you knew that or not so check the description box and i'll see you in the next one bye